Hello and welcome to an Envato Task Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila and in today's video you'll learn what to look for when searching for optimized WordPress hosting. Now what is optimized WordPress hosting and how is it different from normal hosting? Thanks to how popular WordPress is nowadays, a lot of uh, hosting providers are offering a service called Managed WordPress Hosting. And uh, this is a service where basically everything that is related to running your WordPress website is handled by the host. So that means WordPress installation, uh, updates, backups, speed, uh, security, uptime, and so on. Now, the whole idea behind this managed or optimized WordPress hosting is that you, the client, will have the best user experience possible and you won't get bogged down with details like this, with the installation, the updates, the backups, and so on. Everything will be covered by the host. So you are left doing what you do best, which is running your business. Now, this all sounds really good, but managed WordPress hosting has its pros and cons. Let's quickly go through the pros and cons so we can determine if this type of service is right for you. First of all, managed WordPress hosting servers are configured specifically with WordPress in mind, so they are super fast even on higher loads. Your website is also very secure thanks to an extra security layer that scans for malware or hacking attempts. Secondly, these specialized services will offer daily backups and automatic WordPress updates so you won't have to lift a finger to do these things yourself. Finally, the third reason is expert support. The companies that offer managed WordPress hosting have support staff that is specialized in WordPress. So if you have a problem, you can rest assured that a WordPress expert is on the other end of the line ready to help you. So those are the pros of using a service like this. What about the cons? Well, the first one is price because a managed WordPress hosting is significantly more expensive than a traditional shared one. You can get to around $20 to $30 monthly compared to under $10 for a traditional hosting plan. However, given the hassle-free approach and the time you're saving, the price might not be such a deal breaker. Secondly, you may have some limitations with this kind of service because the servers are usually configured for WordPress, so you'll only be able to run WordPress sites. But considering this is the main reason you're doing it in the first place, I think it's totally okay. All right, so now that you know what managed WordPress hosting is all about and you decided that it's the right thing for you, here are the top three things you need to look for when choosing a good hosting provider. Support is one of the most important things to look for. If something goes wrong, you need to be able to speak to a staff member right away in order to fix the issue. So you need to look for providers that offer very good response times. Now, whatever provider you choose should offer you 24 seven coverage. So just to give you a couple of examples, WP Engine offers great support. And as you can see, they offer 24 seven support, 365 days a year. Another uh, great company that offers managed WordPress hosting is SiteGround. And if you want support here, you'll see that they are always available 24 seven with live chat and also they do have phone support and uh, traditional uh, tickets. Another great company is Bluehost and you can start a chat with them from right here and they also uh, offer you 24-7 support via chat or via phone. Performance is the next item to look for. This is crucial for the well-being of your business. 
Having a slow website will only lead to frustrated users and missed opportunities. Not to mention it affects your website's SEO or search engine optimization. Now, getting the exact speeds of each host can be a little bit tricky unless you're willing to go through each one and do a, a test. So what you do is you set up a test website on the host that you want to get. And then you can use a website like Pingdom to test that particular website. And that will give you all the information you need regarding the performance of that web host. Uh, WP Engine also has a uh, nifty tool. Uh, this is a free WordPress speed test. And what you do is you enter the current URL of your WordPress site and an email address and they'll send you the results there. And based on that, you can decide, okay, maybe my website is or isn't fast enough, in which case you can um, look for one of these dedicated or uh, managed WordPress hosting solutions. The uptime of your website should be 100%, meaning it never goes down. However, problems do happen, so most hosting providers will guarantee a 99% or even 99.99% uptime. So look for reputable companies that offer uptime as close to 100%. Uh, WP Engine uh, has a cool tool that's called uh, WP Engine Status. And this will basically show you the status of all their servers and uh, services. So you can actually see if uh, the company has major outages or big problems when it comes to, uh, to uptime. This is just one example. Finally, make sure that your host offers all the cool features that come with managed hosting. Uh, and that includes automatic WordPress install, updates, um, free migration for your old websites, um, malware detection and removal, and so on. Uh, managed WordPress hosting is a lot more expensive than traditional hosting, so you need to make sure that you're getting the best uh, bang for your buck. Now, uh, here are my personal recommendations for this type of service. And we start with SiteGround. Uh, I'm not an affiliate to SiteGround or any of these other companies, but I am using SiteGround. I have a website hosted on um, over here for uh, over a year now. And uh, they do offer managed WordPress hosting. Uh, I, I highly recommend this. I've had no problems with my website or with the staff. So uh, this would be my first choice. But again, yours might uh, might vary. Another great option for this type of service is WP Engine. They actually specialize uh, for this. And uh, as far as I know, they only offer managed WordPress hosting. Another solution is Bluehost. Again, this is one of the most popular uh, providers out there, and I've only heard good things about them. Another one is Dreamhost. And finally, my uh, last recommendation would be Kinsta. So have a look at uh, these uh, five recommendations or look for other ones on, uh, on Google. Look at their pricing, look at uh, what you're getting, for that uh, monthly or yearly price and uh, decide which one is best for you. All right, and those are the things you need to look for when searching for optimized or managed WordPress hosting. I hope you found this tutorial useful and uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm Adi Pordila and until next time, take care.